here. I'm so excited to see you again this week. Kayla and I enjoyed looking at all the pictures you shared of your moon phases. I hope you had time to get outdoors and see the moon in different ways each night. We saw lots of creative ways to track your moon cycle. I even saw one Girl Scout use Thanks A Lot cookies to do hers. Doesn't that sound yummy? Today, we're going to learn more about our solar system. Are you ready to get started? Here we go! Hi Brownies! Thank you for joining Nova and I again this week. My name is Kayla Roloffs and I am the Youth Outreach Manager at Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines. Before we get started today, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who shared their projects with us over the last week. It was so awesome seeing projects not just from our council, but from councils across the country and even the world. We had girls share from Troop 6535 in Orange County, California, to girls in Troop 44262 in Fort Carson, Colorado. And all over the place. I'm really excited to see what you can come up with this week. Before we get started, let's do the Girl Scout Promise and Law. If you can hold your three fingers in the air, we'll get started. Again. On my honor, I will try to serve God in my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout Law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. So we're all working hard at becoming space explorers. Who remembers what we did last week? That's right, we learned about the phases of the moon. This week, we're going to travel past the moon and explore our solar system. So the materials you're going to need for this activity are paper, and then pencils, markers, crayons, whatever you prefer to write with. Our solar system is made up of our star and all of the objects that travel around it. Do you know what our solar system star is called? Who guessed sun? All of the objects in our solar system orbit or move around it. Earth's closest neighbor is Venus, which is only ever as close as 25 million miles away, and it takes a spacecraft three months to get to there. If you were to try to travel 25 million miles in a car, how long do you think it would take? That's over 28 and a half years to drive there. Wow, that's a long time, Kayla. Good thing we have rocket ships to visit outer space. Where would you want to travel on a rocket ship? How far away are your neighbors? Can you walk to their homes? What would it be like if it took you three months to get to your neighbor's house? How often do you think you'd see them? In today's activity, you're going to memorize the planets in our solar system and their order using something called a mnemonic device. Has anyone ever heard that word before? That's a tough word, Kayla. Should we try saying it together, girls? All right, on three. One, two, three. Mnemonic. Let's try again. Mnemonic. Great job, girls! Now let's find out what it means and how it will help us learn the planets. It's a very complicated name for a fun way to help remember something. So for example, my very excellent map just showed us north is a mnemonic device for the order of the planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. In this activity, we're leaving Pluto off but if you can find a way to fit it into your mnemonic device, feel free. So let's get creative. Today you're going to create a sentence or a poem or even a song that uses the first 
letter of the planets to help you remember their names in their order. So here's my example of a mnemonic device. I went with my very excited monkey just sat near us and decided to illustrate it. Again, you can use your creativity and do whatever you feel would be best and whatever helps you remember the order of the planets. All right, girls. While you work on your mnemonic device to help remember the planets, I'm going to tell you some more interesting facts about the solar system. Our solar system consists of the sun, our stars, eight planets, dwarf planets, asteroids, and comets. The four planets closest to the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, are called the terrestrial planets because they have solid, rocky surfaces. Two of the outer planets, Jupiter and Saturn, are known as gas giants. The more distant, Uranus and Neptune, are called ice giants. As scientists discovered celestial objects beyond Pluto, they began to look closely at what it means to be a planet. Because of its size, astronomers determined that Pluto is not really a planet. Pluto is now classified as a dwarf planet. If you can think of a creative way to include Pluto in your mnemonic device, it will help you remember just one more celestial body in our solar system. I can't wait to see what you girls create. I'm so excited to see all the creative ways that you girls have come up with to remember the planets. If you need more time to work on your mnemonic device, feel free to pause the video and then start it back up again when you're ready to go. Once you're done with it, share. If you wrote a song, feel free to sing it. If you made up a sentence, maybe try acting it out or turning it into a picture. We love seeing your creativity, so please feel free to share an image on our Facebook page again. Over the next week, see where else you can use a mnemonic device. They can be helpful for more than just remembering the order of the planets. Is there something you have trouble remembering? Maybe it's the colors of the rainbow or the order of the directions on a compass. Just be creative and see what you can come up with. As we wrap up, Share some other mnemonic devices you've heard. For example, Roy G. Biv is a common one for the colors of the rainbow. And now that you know what a mnemonic device is, teach it to someone else. We really hope that you enjoyed today's activity and we can't wait to see you again next week. Bye. Bye girls, we'll see you again next week.